Hey friends, Brian for Trend Motors Volkswagen and with us today is the all new 2018 Tiguan. This is the second generation model built on Volkswagen's MQB platform. And for the US, we're gonna get one flavor. It's gonna be what the rest of the world knows as the long wheelbase version. It is gonna be the only Tiguan that we get. However, it is offered in five or seven passenger capacity. So you have an optional third row on some of the trims. Now the Tiguan itself has grown 10.6 inches compared to it, it, its, uh, its uh, first generation. And overall the styling is more in line with Vol Volkswagen's current design. So it's got nice crisp angles there, nice sharp body lines, and it's a, it's a great design. All right, so this is the S version. We're gonna turn the lights on so I can show you those standard LED taillights as we make our way around again. This is the S with optional four motion. So everything you see here is gonna be standard on this car, uh, even though it is the quote unquote bottom rung of the Tiguan ladder. So you do get those 17 inch alloy wheels there. You have the body colored side view mirrors with integrated turn signals. Roof rails are gonna be standard. Up front, you're gonna have halogen headlamps with LED daytime running lights. And you can see them below the lights there. Now the earlier Tiguan S and SEs came from the factory standard with fog lights. Volkswagen has since moved them to the options list. But you'll notice that they are cornering lights as well. That fog light is illuminated because I have the wheel turn there. Nice bold grill up front. And if you listen, you can hear the quiet ticking of the two liter turbo four cylinder. Now, Volkswagen has retuned it for this new Tiguan. So power dropped a little bit to 184 horsepower. However, torque went up to 221. And the reason they did that is it's an improvement in fuel economy up to 20, 21, 27 city highway respectively. And honestly, if you drive the car, the, the the bump and torque really makes up for the loss in horsepower. And there's really no perceptible difference unless you are a gearhead, which the majority of the Tiguan drivers are not gonna be uh, racing from stoplight to stoplight. All right, so here we go. As we make our way to the back there, we'll see those very attractive looking LED taillights. Those are gonna be standard on all Tiguans, as is a backup camera, which is located right above the license plate there. All right, so let's move inside. It is a bit chilly out. All right, so the Tiguan S comes standard with comfortable cloth interior. This is gonna be the Titan Black with the rhombus pattern, Volkswagen calls it. And again, you can see they're nicely bolstered. They're height adjustable. They obviously, uh, they have the conventional recline lever there. But again, very comfortable, so. All right, so right up front, you're gonna notice the multifunction steering wheel. It's got Bluetooth capability. Uh, cruise control is mount mounted right on the wheel there. And then in the center is gonna be the Volkswagen's ME MIB2. This is the composition color, which is a 6.5 inch touchscreen. And again, keep in mind, we are in the Tiguan S right now. So this is, this is, the entry level right here 27115 is going to be the msrp and that includes about 300 dollars worth of options and the four motion so pretty cool all right so back to uh back to this the, my favorite part of this is going to be vw's app connect so i'm utilizing apple's carplay with the usb socket down below there's a dedicated app button now on the unit and we're just going to click that button we're gonna hit the home button. Now it, it acts just like your phone here. So it has a home button. You can see what the signal strength is and then select apps are gonna be uh, on the screen there. So obviously phone, music, maps, so on and so forth. Uh, if you like podcasts, you can utilize everything right here. Nice little podcast list. And then Apple Maps too is great because the car doesn't come with navigation from the factory. However, you can utilize your cell phone's navigation there. So pretty great all right in between the dials you're gonna notice the um, nice crisp multi-function display there 
I didn't mention before, but it's an eight speed automatic. So that in, in con conjunction with the uh, retuned two liter is gonna result in those fuel mileage that I, that I mentioned. And when you have four motion, there's a couple different selectable drive modes. So most people are gonna keep it in on road, but keep in mind that you, there is a snow mode Okay, and there are numerous off-road uh, settings as well. So pretty cool. When you're in normal, there's a sport, there's an eco mode, and there's a custom mode also. All right, let's keep moving. Now, as I mentioned before, the third row is optional. This car does not have the third row, so you have more cargo space in the back there. And I have the seats all set up ready to go for a demonstration. And then I redid it, redid the video. So let's see if we can sit them up. Now the, the second row is gonna slide four and a half to seven inches. So I have them staggered. So you can kind of see a difference there. It's a little dark. Um, and the seats are gonna recline as well. And also they fold mostly flat as I just lifted it up. So the second row is not a bad place to be. You have vents at, for the occupants back there as well as a 12 volt charger and then all your controls you got your power window controls there and again with that reclined makes it pretty comfortable all right so lastly let's go check out the cargo back here again you have a backup camera you have led license plate bulbs pretty sharp it's all the uh, the little things there now back here it is an adjustable floor height i have it in the lower setting so you'll notice the notches where the floor usually sits is about, I'd say about two inches lower currently. All right, nice big storage area. So these, these are the optional things I mentioned before, the cargo protection system with the cargo box, they Velcro to the floor, and the roadside assistance kit. Now you have a mechanical release for the seats. I've already pulled it, so the seat kind of flopped forward. Uh, it would obviously go all the way down if the passenger seat wasn't too far back, uh, but otherwise, it is, uh, it's pretty good. You got a very, very large storage area back there. Okay, so we'll close this up and we will wrap it up. All right, so again, this is a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. This is the S model with optional four motion, finished off in pure white, and it comes in a variety of colors for 2018, including the nice bright habanero orange and the newly introduced dark moss green i believe it is which is a nice nice color there so check it out online trendmotorsvw.com or you can see it in person 221 route 46 west we are in rockway new jersey or on all social media outlets it's going to be at trendmotorsvw i want to thank you for viewing and we'll see you soon